Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I've gotten a lot of requests to formulate a face moisturizer with 11 1000. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Specifically, I'm gonna be making a face cream. It's a pretty thick moisturizer, so I do hope you guys enjoyed this formulation. So we're going to be making a 50 gram batch today and I'm starting with a 250 milliliter glass beaker for the water phase. I'm weighing out 28.25 grams of distilled water, then I'm using 2 grams of glycerin which is a lovely humectant that's going to help hydrate the skin. Then I'm going to be adding in some allantoin. This is a lovely soothing and anti-irritant ingredient. I'm adding in 0.25 grams of it and just mixing it in a little bit just to help it dissolve a bit even though it won't dissolve until we heat it up. And now we're gonna be working on the oil phase and I'm grabbing another 250 milliliter glass beaker and we're starting with the 11 1000. So just to be totally honest with you guys, I'm really not the biggest fan of this emulsifier. I think there's a lot of better emulsifiers out there that work better and hold emulsions better. Of course, the more I work with it, I'll probably get a better relationship with it. Since I can tell my formulations are better now than they were at the beginning when I first started using it. This is an EcoCert approved emulsifier, so it is approved to be used in organic formulations, which is why a lot of people reach for it. But I don't even really, I'm not even a big fan of really how it feels either as an emulsifier compared to other ones. Of course, everybody's skin is different, so you may like it, so if you're looking for an ego cert emulsifier, try this one out. Um, but that's just my two cents on it. So we're going to be adding in 3.5 grams of the 11 1000. And then I'm going to be adding in some glycerol stearate. This is also an EcoCert emulsifier and I'm using this as a co-emulsifier to help stabilize the 11 1000. As I mentioned before, it's not the most stable emulsifier. And I apologize if you hear my cat chirping in the background. She's chirping at birds through the window. <laughs> so I'll be adding in one gram of the glycerol stearate. Then I'm going to be adding in one gram of cetyl alcohol as an emollient and also help thicken the cream. Next up is macadamia nut oil. You can use a different oil if you would like. It may end up changing the, the consistency of the cream a bit, but I'm using macadamia nut oil because I've heard nut oils are typically pretty soothing ingredients and I've noticed my skin really likes almond oil and I recently purchased this one and my skin's been liking it. So I'm going to add this in and I added in 7.5 grams of macadamia nut oil. Then we have this ingredient called Lux Glide in 350. This is supposedly a natural alternative to dimethicone and the reason I'm using this is to not only add like slip and glide to the moisturizer, but 11 1000 is known to cause a soapy effect, which means it takes like forever to rub into the skin and it causes a like a white look to the skin. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. And the methicone is supposed to help reduce that soapy effect. So I'm hoping to get that same effect through the Lux Glide in 350, which I do think it does help quite a bit. So if you have Dimethicone, use that. If not, this works perfectly fine. Now, I'm not sure if this is EcoCert or not. So if that matters to you, do some research, but you can definitely leave it out of this formulation if you if you don't have it. And I added in 1.5 grams of it. And now we're gonna add both of our beakers into a water bath. Just fill up a pan with about an inch of water and then cover both of your beakers with some aluminum foil. Then put them over the stove and heat both of your phases up to 50 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it around that temperature for about 20 minutes. Also, I've noticed glycerol stearate takes forever to melt. Let me know if I'm the only one that has this problem, but you'll probably have to leave it over the heat for way longer than 20 minutes to get it to melt. And I noticed just periodically mixing it really helps to get it to melt. So while those are heating up, let's work on the cool down phase. I'm gonna be using a 25 Five milliliter glass beaker and I'm starting with cellian cage which I believe is how it's pronounced. Cellian cage can actually help repair our natural moisture factor which is the section of our skin that helps hold moisture. So cellian cage allows our skin to create and hold more hyaluronic acid. So this is wonderful for those of you with mature skin or people with dry skin like me. And I'm going to be adding in one gram of it. So moving on, we're going to be adding in some wheat protein, which is a lovely ingredient to help hydrate the skin, along with some mushroom extract, just one gram of it. And this extract supposedly helps firm the skin and increase cell turnover. And now I'm going to be adding in one gram of distilled water to the cool down phase. And I'm adding this in the cool down phase to help dissolve our next ingredient, D-L-Panthenol, since this is a powder, it needs a good amount of liquid to help dissolve it. D-L-Panthenol is a lovely humectant that will help hydrate the skin. And I'm adding in one gram of it and just mixing it in until it dissolves completely. And lastly is our preservative Liquid Dermal Plus, and I'm adding in 0.25 grams of it and giving everything one last good mix. So now going back to our water and oil phase, I like to make sure I keep this over the heat. 
while I pour the water into the oil phase because like I said that glycerol stere is a little stubborn so keep it over the heat and be sure to wipe down the base of your beaker to your water phase so none of that water on the outside of the beaker falls into your oil phase and yeah just pour the water into the oil and then immediately mix with a high shear mixer I'm just using this overhead mixer which I did do a review over go watch that video link down below but you can totally just use an immersion blender that works perfectly fine I guess I guess I'm just being fancy here now, realistically, the mixer too, with the overhead mixer, is just easier to clean. That's why I'm using this instead of the immersion blender. But yeah, so once everything has cooled down and emulsified, go ahead and pour your cool down ingredients into your cream and give everything a good mix. And lastly, I'm going to be adding in some vitamin E oil and I'm going to be adding in 0.25 grams of it and giving everything just one good final mix. And if you're curious of what the pH of this cream is, it naturally falls around 5.52. Of course, if you use different ingredients that have a higher or lower pH, it will obviously alter the final formulation. But if you would like to know how to take the pH of thick products like creams and, and thick body washes and stuff, I'll link down below to a video that'll show you guys exactly how to do that. So this is the second batch of this moisturizer I made. The first batch I made, I actually added then 0.2% of xanthan gum soft to the water face. So if you don't have glycerol stearate, you could add in 0.2% xanthan gum to help stabilize it. Personally, I just can't get behind using xanthan gum in leave-on products. It just feels way too tacky for me. I don't know. I even use xanthan gum soft. Some people don't mind it. I just can't get behind it. But I'll share that formulation too just in case you don't have glycerol stearate because you need some kind of stabilizer when you're working with a lip 1000. But anyways, I just got done showing you guys me massaging it into my arm. As you can see, there's not too much of a soapy effect. It actually massages in pretty quickly and I actually had a good amount of product to massage into my arm just then. So here's the final product, my face cream made with Olivum 1000. It's super thick, super creamy. Of course, if you don't want it this thick, just lower the percentage of emulsifier a bit. Of course, just make sure you're not using too much oil. That way the emulsion can stay stable because Olivum 1000 is a little finicky sometimes. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this moisturizer. Let me know if you guys would like to see me make something else with Olivum 1000. You guys may or may not be getting a body lotion made with one. We'll see. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed. So leave me a comment if you guys have any other questions or suggestions on videos you guys would like to see. Don't forget, I do have a Patreon that goes a lot more in detail with each um, product I make here on my channel. I also have downloadable PDF files to each blog, so you can download the recipe and directions and print them out. That makes things a lot easier than going back and rewatching a video for directions, right? I also do two exclusive videos a month over there, blogs, exclusive blogs. I post polls so you guys can vote on which videos to see next, all that good stuff. Also, here's the formulation to this product that I made. Um, I'm also going to pop up another formulation right here that you can make with xanthan gum in case you don't have glycerol stearate to use as a stabilizer with the Olivum 1000. I've never tried this one specifically. The one that I made with xanthan gum actually included the glycerol stearate as well. And this is what that formulation looked like. But again, I just personally am not a big fan of using xanthan gum in leave-on products. I like to use them in face washes and body washes and stuff. I don't really know. I really think it's just me. I know a lot of other people really like using xanthan gum in moisturizers as a stabilizer. But I don't know. I just It just feels tacky on my skin. I'm just, I'm very, very picky with stuff on my skin, so... It's probably just me. I do have more substitutions for these ingredients over on Patreon, so go check that out if you want some more ideas of ingredients you can use instead. Also, I go into more detail about the benefits and purpose of each ingredient, and you're able to download the PDF file and print it out. But yeah, so let's move on to the Patreon shoutouts. At Stardust Bath & Body, Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Creative with Love, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, At Sugared underscore Pineapple, KAJ Bath & Body, Blue Mint Soaps, Saytara, At Salt Air Label, Lunice Beauty, Ardure Naturals, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, At Danny Botanicals, Eclectic Beauty Cosmetics, Escape Bath & Body, EC Naturals, and at Nino55 over on Instagram. Also, I sell products myself over on Etsy. Go check out my Etsy shop. It'll be linked down below along with all my lovely patrons. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. It means the world to me. So I do hope to see you guys in my next video. Later. Oh.
Stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself